I love it. I love to see the authentic, um, you know, just the way people live on a day-to-day -day basis instead of kind of the tourist side of Taipei. Well, I think it's a really interesting area because of the mix of the a European influence with the Chinese. So that, that felt very different to me. Um, I love the fabric because I think, you know, I, as much as I love to see the street um, side, I hadn't seen any of the fabric stuff yet. So that was very different and interesting. Well, I sampled lots of dried and preserved fruits and, um, and tea, and I bought some. So it was salted palms. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is a little spicy and very good, and we don't have much palm products. In the U.S., you know, uh, in history, there are so many smells. I mean, the yeah. smells are amazing. I love the smells. I mean, even even the fungus that someone was not liking, I think, is, is really incredible and different. Like this? Yeah. I mean, the, and that's kind of the joy of seeing an area like this is just to kind of see the, the pace of people, which is not that fast, and to just take it in as you go instead of rushing through it all. It kind of puts you back. You know, just back in time a little bit. I think if, if you want people to know the real Taiwan and to know, you know the real Taipei in the history, um, just make sure that it comes across that this is the area to go to because I think you could spend a lot of time in Taipei and never see the, the real thing. How do I like this area? I, I like it very much. It reminds me a little bit of Chinatown in New York City, but this time I had some very good tour guides to explain to me everything. I think the most interesting thing was to visit the Wang Tea Shop and to visit in the back where she, the uh, sales clerk showed us how they ferment the tea. And I've never seen anything like this before because we don't have a tea culture in New York City. Um, I bought some Oriental Beauty Tea, which is the second time I have bought this Oriental Beauty Tea. My brand beauty, <laughs> which is a gift for an Indian gentleman who shares my office because he keeps bringing me Darjeeling tea. So I want to prove to him that there is tea which is even better than Darjeeling tea. So I'm bringing him Oriental beauty tea. So did you also eat something? Yes, um, I had a traditional Taiwanese ice dessert, which was ice and syrup and coconut, I believe, and it was very delicious. But I discovered in Taiwan that you can really eat every single day, every hour, and become very fat because the food is very good here. <laughs> These are my very special goji berries. Going back to New York City. So how do you deal with the shop owner? Oh, I, well, it was very nice because Actually, with the goji berry shop, there wasn't any translator there. Um, what you can do if you don't speak Chinese is you go into a shop and you smile, and the person smiles back, and then you point, and the person smiles, and then you say how much, and he puts it on the calculator, and he holds up the calculator, so you know how much, and then you buy it from him, and then you say shesha, and he says shesha, and, and it's done. It's done. <laughs> Our interesting um, shopping was in the in the market. We bought some fruit, this passion fruit, and um, I never had it on the on the on the market. So it was very nice because you don't get uh, them in Northern Europe or only in juices or something like that. Uh, apart from it, we went to the same uh, clothes market on the second floor, the fabrics market, and um, we saw the temple. The temple was actually the most um, uh, important thing. Uh, we talk about this amount of information that we gained because uh, uh, those photographers explained that, uh, everything about this ritual and uh, how do you worship and why do you burn those incense if I'm right and about the paper money that you leave for those people who are already uh, who have already passed away and that was the interesting thing as um, last week we spent one week in Shanghai so it's interesting to compare these uh, two cultures it's uh, Although you come like from the same, but it's completely different. Taiwanese people are uh, more calm, and uh, <laughs> in Shanghai it's such a mess, and uh, nobody nobody stops on the red light. So, 
we arrived yesterday and uh, it was uh, kind of weird for us to, to wait for the green. <laughs> we got used to this and there is no action in, in, in cab here. So taxi drivers in Shanghai and here it's like two different stories. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna die there. <laughs> what else? Uh, yeah, you cut it uh, in two and then yeah. just uh, get get the stuff that's inside of it, I guess. <laughs> you, uh, we tried, we tried it in the market, the, the, the salesman uh -huh, yeah. cut it for us uh -huh. and we tried it over there. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. So how many you bought? We bought four of them. <laughs> this is the real, like, just to, just to have a, a small bag, not to carry a lot. How yeah. <laughs> has many? many kind of fruits. Yeah, we saw that um, actually first uh, half an hour we spent uh, in these small shops here trying to uh, find out everything about those dried fruits that they had. And um, I really like that uh, bean, the bean in, the, in this uh, pink, uh, whatever oh, it is, the bean. it, it tastes yeah. pretty interesting as what else. Yeah. Oh, also, we also visited this uh, traditional medicine shop. We didn't uh, quite understand anything out of it, but we know it's very healthy. 